Hi, in today's tech tip video, we'll, we'll be taking a look at how to create uh, this cube. So this cube is five components, and um, the idea came from looking at some of the puzzle cubes available. Um, so I just wanted to try to create my own puzzle cube in SOLIDWORKS. So you can see from my feature tree um, what it took to create it. But in this video, I wanted to show you how I created it. Um, and to create this, and this video is a little bit sped up, I went ahead and created a 90 by 90 grid because I wanted um, a um, grid of 30 by 30 squares um, with 3 by 3 um, uh, arrangement. And so you can see I'm trying to create uh, 3 squares at the top and 3 squares in the first column. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to fill this uh, entire 90 by 90 out with equally sized 30 by 30 squares. I'm doing this because I want that to be my blueprint to um, how I'm creating my rest of my uh, geometry. So I went ahead and copy and paste that into my three um, front, top, and right planes. So I first created it on my front plane. And so from here, I'm going to grab um, these cubes. And I realized quickly that I, I forgot I can't grab multiple and make them uh, independent of each other. So I'm going to grab one at a time and then merge the ones I want to um, add on to. So this is a great exercise for you to um, also take a look at um, how to think in, a, in the 3D space, how your geometry should look. Um, and so I went ahead and created this L shape for my first component. And then I come back in and I create another one. All of these have a uh, depth of 90. And so you can see I'm using contour selection to make my selection of the inside area. So SOLIDWORKS intelligently knows the um, area that I'm trying to select by giving me a preview. And so after a while, I get to a little bit more complex geometry, whereas uh, I have multiple bodies touching each other, so I can't use the merge result option in, um, in the feature. So instead, I'm going to use the combine feature that allows me to merge bodies after I use the extruded boss base uh, command. So then I continue to on. Uh, and you'll see here quickly that I run into another issue where um, using the combine is helpful, um, but in a situation where I'm, I end up with wanting to make this a little bit more simpler than, um, than, than pre uh, presented, I have uh, this L shape I want to create. So I try to create it off of the uh, sketch plane, as you can see. And what I needed to do is make the depth of this by 45 and then I needed to come back in and cut that away. But instead, I went ahead and moved on and tried to create this last piece. Um, again, I'm going to use a 45 depth for those squares, and then I'm going to make a 15 depth in the second direction for that little pocket you see down at the bottom. So from here, uh, I realized that I made a little bit of a mistake. So what I do is first hide the sketch uh, sketches, so it's a little bit of a clear view. And next, I create an, an intersection. If you create an intersection, it creates multiple bodies. So from those two bodies, I created three bodies. But I went ahead and merged those two bodies. So now I have two components from there. And I'm going to do the same thing for this last boss extrude. So if I cut this up with intersect, it ends up with four bodies. So what I'm going to do from that is combine three of those bodies together. And that will leave me with... As you can see, five solid bodies. So the L bracket or the L piece I created in the first place. Here is my T I created after. And then here's some of the ones I created with the intersect and combine tool. You can see uh, they're a little bit more complex, but still manageable. And from here, uh, I'll show you that I can create a uh, exploded view of a part. Just come over here to the exploded view and grab and move them around. Um, now, this can be as creative as you want. So if you wanted um, an array that is a higher density than I had, I had a, a three by three, but if you wanted it to be, let's say nine by nine, you can imagine that you can get a more complex and detailed uh, cube, puzzle cube. So I would challenge you to Try this thought experiment for yourself and see how you like it. That was it for today's tech tip video. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more.